Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, this game was donated by my good friend Card. When people donate a game, I try to follow through with their request to the best of my ability. I do not want to end the day when I <laughs> just started the day. Um, but uh, because of that, that is one of the reasons why Miss is here. Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> I know I said it before, but, like, every time I say that, it's like, I always think, like, oh, the only reason that Mist is here is because of the fact that Card requested. And I guess in a way, it kind of, like, that is kind of it. Like, you know, Mist and I are good friends, and we absolutely love recording together and things like that. But, like, the only reason that I think that the two of us even thought to sit down and like record was be record this was because Card was like, "Hey." <laughs> so, Indeed. It like I Come on. Thank you. It's not so much that it's like we own, you know, the the only reason I would ever record with her is because but I will admit that, honestly, I probably wouldn't have even thought of asking anybody along with me on this journey um, through Fire Emblem Three Houses if it hadn't been explicitly requested. So, and to be fair, at the beginning, you did need the help. <laughs> yeah, I, I am very glad that I had the help at the very beginning because... Uh, for those that uh, haven't seen the other episodes, in which case, what are you doing here on episode 95? <laughs> um, like, seriously. Um, for those that haven't been here from the beginning, this is my first ever Fire Emblem game, just straight up. Like, I have not ever played a Fire Emblem game before this. And so, the, like, I mean, aside from Fire Emblem Heroes... But that is such a different game that I almost don't really consider it. Um, because it really is just... It's, it's a completely different type of game. Um, he has nothing for me, so that's fine. Because, um, like, I was doing simple tactics on Fire Emblem Heroes. And that was like, oh, you know, this is a fun game and things like that. You know, I can see why people enjoy Fire Emblem. And then, like, I get into this game, you know, and it was, I'm like, okay, you know, Fire, Fire Emblem, you know, th think like Fire Emblem Heroes. I've even got, like, four units just like in Fire Emblem Heroes, you know, at first level, where it's just you and uh, the three, like, house people. You know, the Edelgard, Dimitri, and Claude, and I'm just like, oh, you And know, then you units, saw the you map. Know? And then I look at the battlefield, and I'm just like... Yeah, you usually only have, like, five enemies in Fire Emblem Heroes. There's, like, 20 others. <laughs> like, yes, uh, it is very standard for you to be horribly, massively, and totally, completely overwhelmed and outnumbered. Yes. Uh, and that was it, too. It was, like, I saw that in, in this case. Oh, this is a small battle. I'm, like, what? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no, she's right. That, that was a small battle. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, I kind of wondered. Um, so, yeah, no, the, the, so, for those of you who haven't seen, and again, why are you on episode 95? Go back and watch the, the, ep I don't even remember which episode it was, but the one where, um. It would have been the first one. No, it's, no. I'm thinking of the, uh, the mock battle. Oh, the mock battle. Yeah. You mean the one where you just soloed everything with mercy? <laughs> <laughs> and I ended up de on literally only defeating the mock battle because I got Manuel the Manuel ran out of nothing. everything. <laughs> and freaking mercy is like, I'm okay. I'm the only person left. And Manuel is like, I'm the only person left. I'm out of bed. <laughs> and Mercy's just like, I I have arrows. <laughs> and I was like, I have boulders. <laughs> I'm like, yes. I have more arrows. <laughs> like yes, that 
definitely helped you, there, Manuel. <laughs> uh, that was like that. That to me is still one of my favorite episodes, just because, like, <laughs> especially when it comes up at the end, is like MVP Mercedes. I'm like, obviously. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, how did I even get through that? <laughs> like, I, just, I, I don't even know. I, I honestly don't know how I survived that. And But like, then I find out, oh, that's standard in these things. <laughs> oh, so much fun though. I, like, getting through that... Getting through that, like, first few hurdles was difficult, but fun. It really was. Um, well, here we've got Felix and Lysithia. The learning curve of Fire Emblem, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's... it It's battles like that that do make me glad that I play this on casual... Because I can guarantee you there's no way I would get through this game on Classic. Like, I think I lose a unit almost every battle at this point in the game. And I know, like, oh, well, you can div I could divide and pull some things. I know I don't use that a lot. but I, I know I've said this before, but it takes a lot of practice to yeah. be able to play a Fire Emblem game on Classic. Right. Um, I will just say, it has taken me years to be able to play a Fire Emblem game on Classic. Um. <laughs> uh, yes, Felix doesn't like his, I don't like sweets. Can you just us into the heavens? <laughs> nice. As I've said before, Fire Emblem Awakening was the first Fire Emblem game I completed, and that was for a reason. I could actually play the game and not worry about being screwed over because my units died. Right. Um, except for, of course, Crawman, Robin, but that's standard. When your princeling dies, it's game over because the enemies are always going to be getting to kill the princeling. Right. Um... But it's like I've been doing a classic run of Awakening recently and I am proud to say that I have still not lost a single unit and I am past the time skip in Awakening. That's good. Of course, Owain's yeah. Paralog is giving me some trouble recently, but... <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I'm sure that with enough practice, I could get into it and do it. Um, I watched Nico's playthrough, and he's not only is he playing it on Classic, but he's playing it on Hard Mode, and I'm just like, I can barely get through this game without using one or two, you know, I, can't, I can barely get through a battle without losing one or two units on Normal Mode. I don't even want to think about trying to do it on hard mode. Nico's you know. a god. <laughs> Nico is a god. He is a pretty amazing, honestly. I, <laughs> I, so he's been doing Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind and like the other DLC as well. He just kind of labeled it all under Remind even though technically it's like three different sets. Um, but he was doing the Data Fights I'm just watching it, the data fights going, like, if I was doing this, I'd be playing it on the lowest difficulty setting. He's playing it on critical mode, which, that's ridiculous. And even then, I'm looking at these fights going, they're, they're probably only easier in that they hit for, like, a lot less. They're still just as, it's probably still going to be just as convoluted and painful and, like, I'm watching, it's like, he has to block this, and then, like, there's, like, an unavoidable attack in the middle of a blockable attack mixed with another blockable attack that if you don't avoid the unavoidable attack, you get hit by the attack. I was like, 
I could never, even on the lowest difficulty, I don't think I could ever get through this. And uh, I'm watching his frustration, and I, uh, I'm getting messages all over YouTube today because I said something controversial in his comments on that episode, which was, I literally left a comment to Nico saying, Nico, you know, I've been enjoying this and everything, but it's clear that it's just too hard for you. Please, you know, stop stressing yourself out. People are going to enjoy it even if you lower the difficulty, you know. And I cannot <laughs> believe how wrong I've apparently been because of the amount of people that have gotten on me since I said that. I'm just like, are you kidding me? He, Like, in the original Kingdom Hearts 3, he had like 30-some deaths because, you know, he keeps a death counter. In his critical run, he had like 70-something just on this DLC, he's racked up over, like, 500 deaths. I'm going, I'm sorry, but no. Like, when he's literally breaking down, crying, having a panic attack because it's so hard, I'm like, no, this, this guy does not need to be playing this at this difficulty rating. You know, it's, it's not that I don't think he can handle it, you know, but... It, it, he gets to this point where it's like he's struggling so hard and then he can't get an episode out and then because he can't get an episode out he feels bad and then it's like if you can't get the episode out on critical run lower the difficulty you'll be able to get the episodes out you'll still have fun heck you will have fun and that's been the big thing that I've noticed that he is not having you will have fun. <laughs> and I have been surprised at just how wrong I have apparently been because his fan base has blown me up since I said that. I'm just like, how can you watch this? Literally watch him crying, completely depressed over the fact that he's not going to be able to get any of these episodes out and tell me that he needs to keep pushing himself this hard. No. He needs to, he needs to not. First off, he needs to stop playing Kingdom Hearts for like a month just so that he can get settled. You know, get himself calmed down, do something else, have fun. Second off, I know he's got one battle left. He needs to do it on the lowest difficulty setting so that he can actually win something. <laughs> uh, it's... No, I'm sorry, like... I play games on whatever difficulty I want. I don't care what my fan base says. Not, I mean, I know I don't have, like, any viewers to begin with, but if, like, a whole bunch of people were to come in on my videos watching, say, Fire Emblem Three Houses, uh, me doing casual on the lowest difficulty, and they're like, you're not playing this game to the best of my best of your abilities, or you, know, you, you the, well, yada, yada, you know, basically, you know, flaming me essentially for not playing on good difficulty I would literally leave a comment and say you don't have to watch bye because I don't freaking care you know I I play games to have fun I play YouTube to entertain people while I'm having fun if I'm not having fun I can't guarantee that anybody else is gonna have fun watching and therefore I feel betrayed for doing it so I'm going to play it on a version that's fun. I when we were going through Cinder the Cinder Shadows DLC, we were doing like an episode of that a day. Um, that took us almost three weeks to get through, even for just those seven episodes, because Mist can only record two, maybe three days out of a week. It took us almost three weeks to record all of Cinder's Shadows, and... About I, suppose that's, I suppose that's one good thing about what's going on with the coronavirus right now. I'm available a lot more often. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the, these last, like, two weeks... Well, as long, as long as I'm not dead tired because of lack of sleep, um, but we've been able to record a lot more and a lot longer... But, like, we were recording one episode a day, practically, during the Cindered Shadows. Because after just an episode, I was just done. I, 
I loved every bit of the Cinder Shadow story. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make it clear when I say that. I loved every bit of that story. <laughs> if those fights could have just not existed, that would have made Cinder Shadows like amazing. But those fights were terrible. Straight up terrible. I hated every single one of those fights. There was not a single fight that I felt like I ever had control over, that I ever felt like I was doing a good job in, and that I ever felt like I was actually capable of doing. Yes, I know I beat every one of those fights, but every one of those fights was always me winning after sitting there and going, I don't know how to do this because this is just, what do I do? Um, if anybody hasn't seen it, go check the one where we did... Um, where we get the chalice at the end of the episode. Um, that fight, I, I'll be flat out honest, I about gave up on the Cinder Shadows DLC after that fight. Because when you go up to the statues and you try to use the key and you use it on the wrong one, and there's no indication of which one's the right one, and it literally just spawns an entire army of units on you when you're basically half dead, I'm just like... I give up. <laughs> I almost gave up in the episode, but I, I'm i like, I can just Divine Pulse. I hope I just don't have to hit all three of them, you know. And I, luckily I didn't have to hit all three of them. I didn't have to hit them in any order, but there was no indication of which one was the right one. There was no indication of anything there. The fact that hitting the wrong one spawns literally an entire army on you. That, I'm sorry, that was just not acceptable in my opinion. The, the another, place, reason, <laughs> another reason why we could really only record one episode a night for that. Um, well, I am a highly empathetic person. Right. I feel other people's emotions as if they were my own. Right. So I am sitting there being a very salty semi-angry yeah, beautiful person that she is um <laughs> <laughs> kind of drained me yeah a lot oh yeah <laughs> and it's it's like you know those were an hour 15 minutes hour 20 minutes somewhere around there for each episode and that was literally our entire recording session because I was done after an episode. Mist was like freaking... She just wanted to basically die because I'm so angry and I'm so depressed and all this that I just... I want to die. And so she feels the same basically because of how empathetic she is. And it's like... It was... It was honestly the worst section. And I'm glad that it was only just those seven episodes. I know that when it came down to the last two episodes, it was I was literally, for both of those episodes going, I really hope this is the end. Because I cannot... Like, if it had been any longer than it was, I probably would have given up on that DLC. <laughs> and, again, the, the, the only thing that really kept driving me was... I was enjoying the story. I was really enjoying the story. The story was fantastic. I loved the interaction between the characters. I loved the you know, way it progressed. You know, I loved every single bit of the story. Those fights were stupid. And I said it in my Discord channel, link uh, down below in the video description if you guys want to pop into my Discord chat about the episodes, chat with us, Mist is in there, Card's in there, <coughs> other people are in there obviously, but just because their names come up regularly here, you know, I can mention, you know, them specifically, but like, I posted in the chat literally just today after watching Nico's um, fight with Master Xehanort there, I was like, um, in the the data fights there. Um, I'm just like, uh, I uh, to put it in the words that I used, and I can get it up here. 
Um, I'm going to remove the cursing from it, but I said, I want to ask, what the frick is wrong with video game devs nowadays? Like, Kingdom Hearts 3 did it, Fire Emblem, th or Kingdom Hearts 3 has done it, Fire Emblem th House, Three Houses did it. Why do game devs release DLC that is like four times harder than the base, the base game? I don't understand. Like, the... I get it. It's DLC. You have the ability to do more, I guess. I, I, I don't even think that is, like, the reasoning. Um, but, like, it's DLC, so, like, maybe it doesn't have to be as accessible just because less people are going to play it. But I just, I don't, it, it makes no sense to me. It, the... Like, I, I guess their, I, I guess probably their idea is like, also I really want to see this one. Um, it's like, I want to finish what I'm saying before I progress that. Um, I guess like the idea though is like, oh, it's a, a second story, a DLC, you know, you've all, you know, they expect that you've beaten the game once or twice, so you're going to be like really, really good or something like that maybe. Um, and so it's like, well, you have to have more of a challenge because of that. And I'm like, it really doesn't have to be more of a challenge. It can be the same level of challenge that you've used through the whole game because the entire game has had a certain level of challenge. You don't have to throw in 15 golems in one fight because they just want to... Because every time you kill one, they respawn. <laughs> like, I don't know. It, again, leave a comment. You know, join the Discord chat. Leave a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts. Because I'm really curious. You know, if anybody has an answer for that question, I would love to know it. Like, why, why the heck does DLC have to be so much harder than any of the rest of the game? It doesn't make any sense to me. You know? So, that's just my thoughts. Yay! Let's accept who she is and her crest. So, I don't know if Mist cut out or if she's just silent. Maybe she said she was be right back while I was talking and I didn't hear it. Oh, Miss just put it. Miss just sent me a message saying, "No, my mic just stopped working." Oof. Uh, I mean, if you need to disconnect and reconnect or something, you know, if we can pause f for a second to try and troubleshoot. Hello. Hello. Yeah, for for whatever reason, um, it just stopped picking up on my microphone being there. Oops. I so, wondered, yeah. I wondered, like, when I finished talking and then there was just dead silence, I'm like, D -d 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 did you, like, go be right back while I was talking and I didn't hear it? Or? No, no. My mic just stopped working. <laughs> well, she's back then. Good. <laughs> So she did hear everything, but it was just that her mic stopped working. So that's good. <coughs> Yuri and Balthus. 
Also, I really liked that Hanuman and Marianne one just there. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so hard, but I did. I just love Yuri, okay? <laughs> like, he's so sassy. <laughs> oh no, he's, he makes me laugh. Just if, like, he's not even saying it in a tone or anything that's mocking. It's just like something about the, the line just makes me laugh for some reason. I don't know if I'm just like overly tired or something or what. <laughs> <laughs> Their interactions are amusing. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Logan. You know, my mother always told me that thinking hurts your brain, so don't do it. <laughs> it's, not, uh, it's not the truth. You know, it's not, she never actually did tell me that. But my brother and I always like to say that. It's like, you think? It's like, no, my mom taught, my mom always taught me it can hurt my brain. <laughs> it seems to be the case here with poor Balthus.
<laughs> oh dear. Called coffee. All right. <laughs> I mean, I'll agree on that just because I hate coffee. Get ready for the buzz. <laughs> uh oh, who's already addicted? <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure that's just the caffeine. Very cute. Indeed. Okay. And I mean, they can. All of them really can A rank. So. In a way, you could ship them if uh, somebody wanted to. Um, but then you know me with my shipping. <laughs> Indeed. Ship. All of the things. Uh, let's see. You can't live if you're not on board at least 20. <laughs> um, I do you need to. I need to get goals. I do you need to get some motivations up again? Um,. A lot of, a lot of miscellaneous people. Also, I forgot Felix again to put him on authority. I need to remember to do that. I need to switch his goals to authority. Um, Ash, any? Can I get above? Yeah. Okay. Ash and Annie. Like, people need motivation, but if I can build supports, I'd rather do that at the same time. You know? Um, who else do I need? Felix, Ingrid, Petra, Yuri, Balthus. Happy B C. Let's do Yuri and Happy since they haven't gotten much yet. And then maybe I can find one for Constance and Balthus. Probably should have checked that first. See if there's any constants in both this ones. Um, both this again. Problem is that both this is way at the freaking bottom of every one of these lists. But then so will constant. Or both both this and constants are both down here, and so they don't show up in that initial like preview. Um, man, I just, 
Do falses and constants just not like anything that's the same? Hmm. Oh, nobody even likes that one. Yeah, that's that. Okay, well. Um. I guess I can just do one that's regular, as long as I don't have a down arrow. Yeah? Not sure how that affects motivation and stuff, but... Okay. I think it's just the fact that there's support, that's all. Ooh. And Yuri and Happy, actually. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. That's right. In the last one, they were talking about the stars, too. <coughs> She lived in the desert. She's a Gerudo. She did say in a forest. Ah, uh, dread it. <laughs> My joke fails. <laughs> I mean, she's got the red hair and the dark skin, so... Yeah. That's ridiculous. Look at this objective. Yeah, it's not like I can just walk in there and see Maybe she's a terminal Gerudo. I suppose those are in the ocean, but at least they're not in the desert. <coughs> Cats. Honestly, she'd fit um, the Savaku race from my universe because she not only has the red eye, the red hair and skin. But my Savaku have the red eyes too, so. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. Sorry, my throat has just suddenly decided it wants to be in pain. And not only does it want to be in pain, but it makes me want to like gag all of a sudden. It's not fun. <laughs> um. Excuse me, goodness. Uh, let's see. 
Petra. Problem is, I think Petra's already got. Like, out of all the. Hmm. Oh, right, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I was thinking of something else. Um, of all the people that I think Petra. Like, all the people that I have um, here, I think Petra's already got. <clears throat> like all of her supports with I may just have to just select a couple of people that regardless of support building just to get motivation um, do Felix and Sylvain still need any motivation or support yes but do they like anything that's the same because they're so polar opposite I can see them. Ah, here we go. Felix Sylvain. I can, say, I can see them being so polar opposite that it would be like impossible. Yeah, yeah. Again. Yeah, get it, Professor. Yeah. Again, the two of them do have um a few undertones. Yeah. Ooh, Serene and Sylvain A rank. That's neat. <laughs> Um, who else needs motivation? Ingrid, Bernie, Petra, Marianne, <clears throat> and technically Lysithia. Alright, um, so these people just don't have anything for each other. Um, and the people that they do are already maxed out, so <clears throat> I'll just team up people that need motivation. <laughs> At this point, because there is nothing else. Petra and Ingrid, even though they can't build anything. <coughs> <coughs> mm. <laughs> Alright, that leaves Lysithia, but I'm not too worried about her. I can always build her up later. Or just hand her a gift. Um... She likes, what does she like is the question. I have a lot of these flowers. <laughs> what about this one? Um, Scroll down. Because if you've got anything that's a sweet rather than a flower, Um, probably uh, uh, not immediately, it looks like. She might like the stylish hair clip. Try that. I don't have, in case anybody's wondering, I just don't have my list up. And I don't feel like getting it up just for that. Well, <clears> whatever. <throat> Um, let's try, I did the daffodil, try the sunflower. Well, three gifts. Almost no one has two stars for flowers. Yeah. That was also one reason I went down to the flower was because I was like, hey, I can just do like a flower for the last one to get her. Because I only needed the one point anyway. <laughs> for motivation, so... Yay, we got some stuff. We got the same stuff. amount of stuff. <laughs> so, let's do... I think, feel like we've got enough, like, veggie stuff right now, so... Um, jeez. Doesn't matter what I do, I get three. Let's just do that, I guess, for now. Not too worried about it right now. Um... That's I guess you need to fast travel to proc Sylvain's. Yeah, I need to fast travel for Sylvain. Um, I still need to finish up my activity points anyway, so. And for that, I can go see Manuela. Or Hanuman, excuse me. Hanuman. Hanuman for a reason. Manuela's faith. Hi, kitty. Good. 
Meh. Um, and then I'll probably... Yeah, there it is. Alright. Um, and then... Oh, hey, Rodriguez. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, I knew that. I did actually know that. As I think about it. I was like, hey, Rodriguez on the map. But yeah, I, I did know that, actually. Doors. I know, I know. They're, the, the doors are closed because it's loading and stuff. But it's just like, doors. Doors won't let me through. Oh, hey. Random blue shiny right there. Sparkly, whatever you want to call it. And we can run right up here to get Sylvain. And I'm hoping Miss Mike didn't die again. Huh? Oh god. Oh, well, you've just been quiet for a bit there, so I wanted to... Um, <laughs> it has not died again, since you're clearly still hearing me. Yeah. You got her protecting me. <laughs> Didn't you, want to kill, didn't you want to kill me? Didn't have the courage. Hmm. Hello, Blinky. Snuggle. Oh, I remember five years ago. <coughs> <laughs> yep, but I stood up and was like, nah. Try to get him back. What you really feel towards women is. He needs hugs. Yeah. Because he's a good guy. At his heart, he really is a good guy. Oh, yeah. What? Like, what are you even doing? <laughs> cats. Yeah, cats. Aww. I swear all these interactions are so sweet, they're giving me cavities. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do have two new cavities, but not from this game. It's just the fact that uh, 
couple of the fillings in my teeth broke and it hurts to brush my teeth and I need to brush my teeth because I have cavities but it hurts to brush my teeth because of the fillings that are broken so <laughs> I don't brush nearly as much as I should and unfortunately that has turned into further cavities which is not fun um Felix, I'm gonna look at your sort of Meralta. Mithril. Jeez. <clears throat> What's the Oh my god. I can't even I can't even repair his sword. I, just, I don't have the freaking steel for that. I'm gonna actually Oh dear. Have, I I'm gonna actually have no choice but to switch to his other weapon because I don't I can't repair his regular weapon. Yeah, that does seem like a problem. That or just give him a completely different sword, I suppose. Which I suppose is a possibility, but... <laughs> I don't have any Agarthium, so Leone's gonna have to actually switch back to using a lance. At some point. Can I... Forge Leone's Lance up. Uh, ooh. That's a good question. Do I want to forge it to something different? Um, Iron Lance Plus might be the best option. Killer Lance is probably the best, but that drastically increases the weight and kills the durability. Um, <clears throat> I'll just go with the Iron Plus. Alright, well, um, let's not do that actually, apparently. I am out of smithing stones. I need to go get smithing stones. Um, I'm trying, whoa, hang on, stop buying too many, out of money, um, actually, did I pick up any booleans by any chance, couple of them, they're doing no good just sitting in anybody's inventory, <laughs> that's true, Kind of looking to see if there's any more, but I don't think so. Nah. That gave me a whole whopping 2,000 gold. Oof. Money is getting a little difficult, if I can be honest. No, I don't want to... Hang on. Forge. Balthus. Gauntlets. Um, yeah. Probably. Oh, all that does is increase the hit rate. That doesn't really even help him any. Doesn't make him any stronger or anything. Um, let's do the steel. There you go. Alright. Um, well this is a good spot to end off at. Um... Since we're ending off just before finishing off the day, and I do have a bunch of fish, I think I will AF, or not AFK fish, <laughs> Um uh, but I'll off camera. Or Minecraft. Well, At least until 1.16 comes out. Yeah, until 1.16 comes out. I mean, for fish, you can still AFK fish, but yeah, you can't treasure fish. So, um... <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'll probably off cam fish just to get that out of the way. Um, since, you know, fish can always be used for renown if I really need it. Um, but with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Leave the description down below for all links to the so that you can get caught up on any of the episodes you might have missed. I just completely confused myself because I rotated the camera while I was looking at OBS instead of the TV 
there's a two second delay between what OBS sees and the game. And I freaked myself out because I hit the rotate camera and the camera wasn't rotating. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway. Have a wonderful day, everyone. <laughs> yeah. See you later. <laughs>